Welcome to Big Cats, Mississippi. We got some great live scope footage for you today. Caught 20 crappie in two hours and 14 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. Sit back, have a great time, and thanks for watching. So we've got a nice crappie, about 15 feet from the boat, 12 feet deep. About to see my jig dropping down. You can see the jig. Crappie's looking at it, very interested. These fish were aggressive, set the hook, nothing like it, coming to the surface, about to get them in the boat. This is another good crappie. Most of these crappie are in the 12 to 13 inch range. I caught one that was like 10 inches long, one that was over 14. I let the first couple go, and then a friend of mine asked me to keep him a couple, so I decided to help him out. Here's a crappie about 10 feet from the boat, 12 feet deep. There's the jig dropping down. He's looking at it. Boom. Couldn't resist. On his way to the boat. These fish were fairly aggressive today. Most of them were black crappie. Had a few white crappie. I think this was a black. Another probably 12, 13 inch fish. Let him go. There you see four fish about 35 feet from the boat, 10 feet deep. There's my jig dropping down. And that one took a look at it. He peeled off from the school. Now he's following the jig. You can barely see it. Boom, hit it. There he is on his way to the boat. That's 35 feet away. That's pretty nice casting that far and getting one of them to hit it. Most times I can say that doesn't happen. This is another good black crappie. This thing looks like it's about 13 inches. Uh, I didn't really measure them. Big old fat fish. A friend asked me to keep a couple for him, so I kept this fish and had to take off my jacket there. It started to get hot. There's the jig about 35 feet from the boat. You see... Uh, one crappie just came up and hit it about 27 feet from the boat. Man, these fish were aggressive. That is fun when it's like that. Got him in the boat. Another nice crappie. This is about probably 12 inch black. All the fish were really healthy. Let's get out there and do it again. So here you see the first cast about 40 feet away. There's a, about four or five crappie there. The jig just went over the fish, had to reel it up. You want to get it back to them as soon as you can. Sometimes they don't stay still for you. So this fish is isolated kind of from the school. He's about 11 feet deep, 37 feet out. There you see the, the jig just starting to come down. That's the second cast of the fish. And it's about to come over the top of the fish. Hopefully he'll get interested. He turned, boom, he got it. When they hit it 37 feet away like that, it is sweet. It's not always the case. Probably most of the time, in fact. Just got him in the boat. Another nice black crappie. Hooked in the roof of the mouth again. Top lip. These fish were very aggressive eating it. So put him in the boat. And let's do it again. So the air temperature is low 60. Water temperature was 65, actually to 69. Not much wind, ideal conditions. There's one about 22 feet away, nine feet deep. And there you see the jig coming down and just went over the top of him. And he missed it, decided not to eat it. But there's a better fish right there. Moving towards the jig, he's about 12 feet deep. You can see him swimming down to it. He just saw it. He turned. Looking at it, boom, he got it. Bring him to the boat. Now that's a pretty sweet scenario. When you target a nice fish, they don't eat it. And another fish that's actually bigger comes up behind it and eats it. So let's get this bad boy in the boat. Another nice black crappie. In that same 12 to 13 inch range, hooked top lip again. 
man, these fish are nice. That thing is healthy, black crappie. They were aggressive today, getting ready for the spawn. Put him in the boat. Let's do it again. So now, what do we have? There's a fish, 33 feet away. He did not waste any time. Didn't get much footage of it, but boom. There he is in the boat. That's a nice white crappie. Probably about 12 inches. We'll put him in the live well with some friends and do it again. So there's the jig coming down about 33 feet out. There's your fish about 30 feet down, 30 feet out. And the jig just went on top of him. Boom, he didn't waste any time. Unfortunately, a smaller fish came up and got it before the one I targeted. It's a little white crappie, maybe 10 inches long. So we are gonna let him go, do it again. There's an isolated fish 15 feet out, about 14 feet deep. The jig's dropping down to him. You're about to see the jig. There it is, right on top, boom! The fish didn't waste any time. He hit it on his way to the boat. Another nice black crappie. That same 12 to 13 inch range. Put him in the boat. There's a fish about 11 feet deep, 10 feet from the boat. And where's that jig? There it is, coming toward him. Is he gonna look at it? Yup, boom, he just set the hook on his way to the boat. I'll tell you, if that doesn't get your heart thumping, that, that's just where it's at, at least for me. Look at that nice black crappie. Same 12, 13 inch range. Just good looking healthy fish. Put him in the live well. And let's do it again. We got this time. Alright, there's an isolated fish 27 feet away. About 10 feet deep. There's the jig coming towards the fish. And the fish saw it, boom, he couldn't resist. Had to set the hook on him. And he's on his way to the boat. For those of you who don't know, we have a weight above the jig. It helps to visualize on the live scope. It makes it easier to get down. That's another nice, it's like a white crappie right there. It could be black. Same 12, 13 inch range. All right, there's a fish 17 feet away, about 13 or 14 feet deep. There's the jig right on top of him. Boom! He couldn't wait to eat it. On his way to the boat. Let's reel him up, see what we got here. Oh my goodness, this is a nice black crappie. Look at that thing. And they are healthy. Good looking fish. Put him in the live well. There we go. We're working on a nice cooler full of fish. There's a fish 15 feet from the boat, about 16 feet deep. Where's the jig at? Oh my goodness, where is the jig? There it is. Coming down right now. The fish just saw it. Moving up. Boom! He couldn't wait. Had to set the hook. Let's get him in the boat. See what we're dealing with. Another nice black crappie. It's a good one. It's looking like a 12 and a half, 13 inch. All right, I'm gonna put him in the live well. Throw it out there. There's another isolated fish, about 24 feet from the boat, 13 feet deep. There you see the jig dropping down. And it is just now coming over the fish. He turned around, did a U-turn, boom, he couldn't resist it. Set the hook, now he's on his way to the boat. And we're about to reel him in. Just exactly what we're dealing with. Goodness, look how dark that fish is. 
these fish are hormone up turning dark and just getting big that's a nice one decided to measure him i think it's actually 14 and an eighth of an inch just big healthy black crappie nice one let's do it again flip it out there here's the fish about 17 feet away 13 feet deep there you see the jig right on top of it looks like there's actually two fish and the smaller one peels off and gets it. I think that's the male. Boom, he just hit it. They're pairing up this time of year, getting ready for the spawn. Hormones are kicking in. Males are turning like dark black, just gorgeous. And this one hit it. Let's get him in the boat. Another nice black crappie hooked in the top lip. Had to get the pliers to dig it out. Every, almost every single one of them got hooked in the roof of their mouth. That's an excellent, aggressive bite when they're eating it, getting hooked in the top lip. Okay, here's some crappie by a tree. Okay, you just saw the, uh, the jig shoot down. Now the jig is right there. You see a crappie, two or three chasing. One of them comes up and just hit it. Boom, right there. Man, these fish were aggressive eating it. He didn't waste any time. Yeah, this is another nice black crappie. I think in the 12 to 13 inch range. Look how dark he is. He is getting dark because of hormones. He's looking to spawn. These males will get black. All right, there's my jig above a crappie, about 13 feet deep, 12 feet from the boat. Boom, he just hit it. And as soon as they see it, they hit it. Crazy. Uh, this guy just blew past me in his pontoon boat, probably about 80 feet away. Anyway, this is a nice black crappie right here. The 12, 13 inch. I'm about to get hit by that tsunami from the pontoon boat. People just don't know any better. Sometimes they do know better. For the most part, they're just uninformed about boater etiquette. Let's put him in the boat. All right, there's some brush. Bunch of crappie there, about 30 feet away. About eight feet deep. There's my jig coming on top of him. If I can get back to focus. There it is. Oh, one of them saw this peel off. Boom, there he hit There he hit it. Love bringing the jig past a, a little group of them because the competition really helps you one crappie sees the other crappie chasing something and it makes them get hungry so this is another one about 12 inches let's put him in the boat and while we're at it let's take a look at the live well starting to get full i think i ended up giving 17 to my friend and then i went fishing Caught five more in about 14 minutes and then had to go to the house. Okay, here are some fish about 13 feet deep by a tree, about 12 feet from the boat. There's my jig dropping down on top of them. There's a couple of them right there. And the jig is coming over the top of them. And it looks a little shaky. One of them just saw, it. boom, he hit it. Had to get it. He's on his way to the boat. Let's get him in here. Another nice black crappie, about 12 inches long. Let's put him in with his friends. Okay, let's see what we got. An isolated crappie, about 17 feet away, 10 feet deep. There's the jig right on top of him. He just saw it swimming toward it. Boom, he couldn't resist. Had to set the hook on and get him in the boat. This is another good crappie. I think it was a black crappie. Had a little trouble getting him over the edge. This one's about 13 inches long. 
Nice fat black crappie hooked in the top lip. As usual, had a hard time getting that hook out. Let's put him in with his buddies. Look at that beautiful fish. Mm. And they were eating it good today. Okay, this is the jig I was catching most of them on. This is a chrome or nickel plated um, crappie magnet head. There's the crappie magnet body. That was monkey milk. I was also catching them white. There's an eight ounce weight with six cents weight stoppers above and below the weight to keep it in place. They work really well. And I ended up giving 17 crappie to my friend. I went back out and caught five more in about 14 minutes, then you had to go to the house, but that is a nice cooler full of fish. These are the best fishermen on the lake. There's about 70 white pelicans and cormorants decimating the shad population, probably the crappie and bass population too. This brings us to the end of the video. I can't thank you enough for watching. For those of you who have subscribed and support the channel, I've, I really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, please do so. Please like the video as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember, get out there and go fishing soon.